continuing viewers um, this uh, matter has also reached hyderabad we saw how aimim chief asaduddin uh, oisi was among the first to visit mukhtar ansari's house he did it perhaps for what impact it could have on up but even in his constituency of hyderabad this matter is being raised the contender of the bjp for the hyderabad seat madhvi lata has raised oisi's links with mukhtar ansari as well while campaigning let's listen into what she said पहली बात तो जो दूसरों को डेथ थ्रेट्स डेथ थ्रेट्स देते हैं उनको कौन है भैया डेथ थ्रेट देने वाले उनका तो दोस्ती मुख्तार अंसारी जी से है ना देखिए तो सही उनकी दोस्ती क्या लेवल पे है आई एस आई एस ए लोग आई एस आई एस लोगों से हैं मुख्तार अंसारी से हैं हाँ किंग्स ग्रुप से हैं वो भला इनको दे दे डेथ थ्रेट साहब और दूसरी बात करते हैं इतने बड़े बड़े काम और 40 साल से बोलते हैं हमारा गढ़ है और बोलते हैं उनको डेथ थ्रेट है और ऊपर से बोलते हैं मुर्गी नहीं है ऐसे पहली बार बताए उनको मुर्गी किसने कहा खुद तो कह ले रहे अपने आप को मुर्गी जब खुद को मुर्गी समझते हैं कमजोर समझते हैं तो हम भी क्या कर सकते साहब हम भी कुछ नहीं कर सकते ऊपर वाला भी कुछ नहीं कर सकता हम मुर्गी जाने क्या कर सकती है मुर्गी क्या नहीं कर सकती है चालीस साल एमपी रहने के बावजूद आज अपने आप को मुर्गी के हैसियत पे ला ली है तो कुछ तो सच्चाई है जो बाहर निकल रही है so that was madhvi lata now we can see we have the visuals of asaduddin oic also at mukhtar ansari's home uh, adib stays with us adib clearly this uh, controversy is growing um, asaduddin oic had visited uh, there as well but now the controversy has reached hyderabad and the bjp is targeting him over it also is the bjp likely to make this a big uh, issue the visits to mukhtar ansari well definitely bjp is making it uh, as a big issue bjp has been attacking uh, oic and the, uh, the other opposition leaders as well uh, on the other hand we have asaduddin oic who was the first one to visit ansari family when he was in lakhnow the uh, ne- very next day he went to gazipur to meet the family of the uh, mukhtar ansari and after that aimim had been attacking akhilesh yadav for for not visiting uh, the ansari family akhilesh yadav sent his brother and the contender and the candidate from the, the azamgarh seat dhamendra yadav the main the other went to the ansari family he also went to the muktar's grave to pay his condolences after which the aim i am had been raising uh, that akhilesh yadav is not visiting ansari family and he is afraid uh, of the government to write his name on the other hand uh, he wants the muslim votes but he is afraid to uh, t- take his name this is what aim i am had been alleging and the bjp is also saying that the samajwadi party is a party of mafia and goons and if akhilesh yadav is visiting them it just prove our allegations now uh, adib one aspect has been of course that uh, mukhtar ansari is a mafia don he is convicted as well but both asaduddin oic and akhilesh yadav when they visited him they praised the family's contribution to the nation they um, really credited them with having done a lot is there somewhat of an effort to whitewash the fact that uh, this was in fact a mafia don well uh, no one can uh, whitewash this fact that uh, uh, mukhtar ansari was a mafia don there were around 61 criminal cases lodged against mukhtar ansari and in just 18 months in eight cases he was uh, convicted uh, two of them were of life imprisonment and he was given life imprisonment and samajwadi party chief akhilesh yadav aim chief uh, asaduddin oisi they all are saying that mukhtar ansari's family had contributed for the nation and they are trying to uh, imp- implicate this on the muslim voters remember uh, samajwadi party and aimim both bank on the muslim votes samajwadi party has uh, banks most on the muslim votes and yadav votes gazipur which is the uh, residence of mukhtar ansari is the uh, you know is, is the main part of the muslim community muslim dominated area and that's why samajwadi party chief is making statement like this Clearly, there is a lot going on with regards to Mukhtar Ansari. Um, Adib, could you also tell us if there is anything further expected with regards to uh, the autopsy and the probe into how it is that he died, or is the chapter closed now with uh, the cardiac arrest? Definitely, ch- chapter is not closed. The autopsy report clearly indicated that the death of Mukhtar Ansari was due to the cardiac arrest. However, on the other hand, a magistrate inquiry. 
and a judicial inquiry is going on. The judicial inquiry ordered by the the judge is uh, to be completed within the 30 days. Uh, the uh, the judge okay the order the next day Mukaran Sai died, and the uh, the inquiry committee is visiting uh, the Banda Jail also. They are visiting the Banda District Hospital also where the Mukaran Sai died, and the inquiry is going on. And we can expect the report to come in uh, very shortly. And after that report, things will get more clear how Mukhtar Ansari died. But in the autopsy report, it was clearly written that the reason behind the Mukhtar Ansari's death is the heart attack. Most definitely. So there are multiple facets to this uh, death and the politics around it. We have Sumit now joining us on the phone. Sumit, uh, the BJP candidate for Hyderabad now raising Asaduddin Oasi's uh, links to Mukhtar Ansari, the fact that he visited there to attack him as well. How is this controversy being viewed in Hyderabad? Well, immediately after Asaduddin uh, Oasi has visited Mukhtar Ansari's uh, residence in Uttar Pradesh and also met his brother and also his family, immediately BJP uh, MP candidate for the Hyderabad constituency, Madhavi Lata, has it out at the OAC, as well as at the same time uh, the other leaders as well, uh, including SP and uh, the state. She has stated that uh, he is having links with these uh, uh, no people, including go with the goons, and also she directly, directly meant that uh, you know, he's having links with the uh, ISI and also this. So basically, uh, she has been seen, uh, uh, you know, raising her voice back to back against uh, Mr. Sudra Oisi. And uh, basically, uh, you know, she has been fielded by the BJP recently. And even, uh, you know, uh, we are seeing in top pl platform she is, you know, um, um, attending and uh, mainly raising her voice, including on, uh, uh, you know, her, his links and as well as on the woods. Definitely. Uh, there is an uh, opportunity, clearly the BJP sees that it can take on both its opponents in Hyderabad as well as in Uttar Pradesh over their visits and political patronage it seems to Mukhtar Ansari's family. I thank Adib and Samit for getting us these details. Viewers, we are slipping into a short commercial break. News and updates continue on the other side. Who gives death threats to others? Who gives death threats to others? Who gives death threats to others? Their friends are from Mukhtar Ansari. Look, what is their friends' level? ISIS people are from Mukhtar Ansari. They are from King's Group. They give them a death threat. And the other thing is, करते हैं इतने बड़े बड़े काम और 40 साल से बोलते हैं हमारा गढ़ है और बोलते हैं उनको डेथ थ्रेट है और ऊपर से बोलते हैं मुर्गी नहीं है ऐसे पहली बार बताए उनको मुर्गी किसने कहा खुद तो कह ले रहे अपने आप को मुर्गी जब खुद को मुर्गी समझते हैं कमजोर समझते हैं तो हम भी क्या कर सकते साहब हम भी कुछ नहीं कर सकते ऊपर वाला भी कुछ नहीं कर सकता हम मुर्गी जाने क्या कर सकती है मुर्गी क्या नहीं कर सकती है 40 साल एमपी रहने के बावजूद आज अपने आप को मुर्गी के हैसियत पे ला लिए हैं तो कुछ तो सच्चाई है जो बाहर निकल रही है